Um, it's great uh, uh, project work for people with various abilities. Training organisations are um, very interested, faith organisations, volunteering, that's where it's coming from. Um, so elsewhere, I've not really said it really. Um, there's our furniture sculpture again. And um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty obvious. We, we, uh, yeah, so our vision is of London as a city where resources are managed sustainably to maximise community and environmental benefit. And um, in LCRM, we care about everything from you know, composting old food waste to refurbishing fridges and reusing building materials. So we're just one, one organisation looking out for all of that. We've got about 200 projects around, around London. Nationally, uh, I used to say it was a, a landscape stinted by ego and waste stream. I, I, a lot of that's been managed now. So we've all come together under the banner of the Realliance, which um, government put about five million into it uh, just over a year ago. It launched in September 08. And it's the, the alliance of these principal organisations working in um, partnership to support these kind of activities. So Community Recycling Network UK, Community Composting Network based in Sheffield, Furniture Reuse Network based in Bristol. RAP is the uh, government quango, which is our kind of paymaster at the moment with whom we're working in partnership to mainstream social enterprise activity into the rest of the waste sector. Um, that's all good. These presentations are all downloadable in memory. So don't expect to read that, but that, according to Resource Futures, who I mentioned before, who were commissioned by MDA, uh, they found 70, um, I think these are alphabetical orders, so if, you want, if you're looking for one in particular, 70 organisations across your region who are engaged in sustainable resource management. Is anyone here on that spreadsheet? Hey, hey, hey. fantastic. So um, you know what's going on. So that, that, I think, is just a snapshot for you. I'll, I'll leave the list is in the presentation for you to check out. I'm sure um, somebody at EMDA can liberate the research for you. But just to pick out a couple of things for you, are either of you um, any of the red dots? The, the, uh, <laughs> what you've got going on here right. is, <laughs> say again? I reckon I'm a red dot. You reckon you're a red dot? You yeah. look like a red dot to me. The, um, <laughs> this is community sector organisations by size. So the bigger, are you a big red dot or a little red dot? I think we're a big red dot. Excellent. Now. Excellent. We have a big red dot in the room. Um, we've only got three of them, really. And a couple of them look like they're colliding. But these are, you know, sort of the larger... Uh, which organisation are you? Said? Stride. You're Stride. Okay, I see in this. Um, the larger uh, organisations, so what, what's your sustainable resource activity? Uh, well, we recycle uh, that, that furniture. Right. Uh, quite a large scale. Excellent. By the time. By the time. Oh, by the time. Excellent. Um, so that's what's going on now, in 2008, when the study was done. And um, this is the map of those who, in the survey, said they wanted to expand. So quite a lot more, all around and about. So I think, I think it worked out uh, to be, uh, and I'll, I'll confess I've only skimmed this, because I'm a Londoner, you know this. Where, where are we? The, um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, I think it's about 60% of uh, community organisations who are currently involved in sustainable resource activity in this region want to expand, which is a great ambition to tap into. Um, so, uh, again, I, I do, I think the study is about 60 pages long, but it has got some good data in it. What's clear is that there's much more than waste going on when you talk about sustainable resource. So, I always talk about this kind of spectrum of activity from, from you know, awareness. We're just talking about the validity of Transition Town just now. I mean, a key part of the transition movement is to build a, an awareness and an ownership of the issue locally and that's that's very important activity and you move from awareness through engagement before you know it you're giving people practical skills and empowering them to do something about what's going on in their lives you mobilize them a bit you formalize that training um, you get them placements again it's very much you've got all of this stuff going on right here um, create employment build enterprise end up delivering public services and contributing to regional economic development. So there's a spectrum which you're in, and it's, it's very easy sometimes to get lost in your bit of it. But you know, the good thing about the Realliance Network is that it's, it's, it's helping people collaborate to make sure they're delivering across the piece. And of course, that uh, old triple bottom line. Um, so in terms of what's, where are the opportunities right now, the report singles out agricultural uh, waste, especially around anaerobic digestion, um, and sort of working with farms 
to get hold of the kind of feedstock that you need to make viable um, AD plants. And um, furniture and we waste electronic and electric equipment. Again, very high carbon savings with we. And again, you can just see some of the dots there. I expect Stride will be uh, coloured in purple in here somewhere. Is that yeah. where you are? Yeah. Yes. Nice. See, watching your dot, might you change your slide slide, but it is. It's um, good. The wrong but, sorry. Uh, the, um, what's interesting here in agricultural is for a region which has got you know, quite a lot of agriculture going on, there's actually only one, two, three, four organisations uh, who are at all engaged with trying to grow some sort of resource enterprise off the back of that, that waste. And so there would seem to be at least a supply opportunity there. Um, and in terms of the, um, the tonnage, what this is doing is mapping the, uh, where the actual distribution industry is based, as well, sorry, the goods production. So it's like trying to co-locate, because now we've got producer responsibility, stuff's coming back to producers uh, and distributors. So if you, you can often do partnerships, certainly working with LRN, whereby you, you get involved in the reuse and refurbishment of goods as they return to the producer's warehouse. So, um, and the report identifies for these Midlands in terms of barriers and bridges, but the main development needs, everybody needs space um, and, and equipment. I think there is a thing generally in waste is beware the boys with toys. I mean, I suppose it's not just waste, but uh, and certainly in waste you get uh, a lot of boys wanting a lot of toys and there's often no need, uh, especially in, in a kind of labour intensive model, uh, which again you have here. Quite often the, um, the added value of being a social enterprise working in, in waste is precisely the care that you get by using humans rather than machines to preserve the value of the material or the product. Um, so I think. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a, 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 an issue there about recovering exactly what tools you buy. Um, we do keep, because it's a fast evolving uh, industry, you do need um, to keep on top of the expertise and to keep training and retraining uh, your people. And um, you do need to get over this um, slightly shabby perception that social enterprise can carry uh, in, in this market. Because there's this, you know, because there's been such massive uh, multinationals moving in, they throw everything at you to try and say you're not doing it properly. So, you know, in my little neck of the woods, you've got people pushing shopping trolleys around in estates carrying food waste from block to block. Nothing wrong with that until you get the health and safety police in and tell you it's got to be a trolley with wheels like this. And, you know, and it's, it's madness. But uh, there's nothing wrong with shopping trolleys in my humble opinion. But the way the industry is mobilising against these fringe social enterprise activities um, is, uh, is something to, to watch out for. And we've got to find a way of getting over it. <coughs> 